to meet our neighbors and to learn about their culture and their faith. And uh, Flushing, I think, is a really important community because we're so um, diverse in so many different ways, not in the just normal way of diversity, but diverse in terms of you know um, the kind of experiences that we all bring with us. And I, I always like to say that you know um, if you look at the Harlem Renaissance, the people who um, were African Americans who helped change American culture and history, they weren't even from Harlem. They weren't New Yorkers. They were from the Caribbean. They were from the American South, from Alabama, Georgia. They brought all their struggles with them and recreated and redefined what it means to be American. And I think that's what's going on in Flushing today. You have people from all, away, all, all around the world coming, bringing their unique struggle and their experiences and helping to reshape what it means to be American. So it's, it's very exciting that you're here and you're able to experience some of that unique hybridity and culture. And so um, without any further ado, I'm going to invite Caroline to come and speak on behalf of the Meeting House. Can everybody hear me? Yes. And now. Quakers began in the 1650s in Britain. Uh, specifically, a young man named George Fox was very dissatisfied with the uh, religious people that he found around him. And he became a seeker. And he was wandering on a hillside and stopped to rest and sat quietly and he heard a voice. There is one Christ Jesus who can speak to your condition. And his words were, my heart did beat for joy. And he went about to Britain where there were other seekers who would meet in people's homes just trying to figure out things. And he preached to them, and sometimes he preached to hundreds of people outdoors. And his message was that everyone has in his own self that which can respond to God, or that of God. And that is the basic belief of Quakers. We believe that God is accessible to us and to anybody without benefit of an intermediary in the form of a book or a person of uh, an educated clergy. It's to, it is available to everyone. And so our meetings are held starting from silence in expectant waiting. And during that time, it is felt that if God has a message, somebody, not any one particular person, but someone will hear that call and will speak and pass the message on. And in some cases, someone else will add to it. Sometimes we sit in silence. And even if he hears no message, there is a sense of community. Um, we have a number of basic beliefs, but we have no creed. We believe that uh, in what we call continuing revelation, it is just as possible for someone sitting here today to be inspired as for the people who wrote the Bible or another book to be inspired. So, We do not have decorations in our meeting houses because they're felt to be distractions. Um, and I think that's all we can say. <laughs> but I could be glad to. This meeting house was built in this part of it was built in 1694. Um, it was added onto the building next to that was I'm not sure of the date. That's on the light. I knew, not new to Quake recent, but I knew to this meeting in like three years, so I don't remember all the recent things. Thank you. 
Jack. Yeah. And it was added on then. And <coughs> upstairs in that part, there is a school room which was actually used as a public school. One of the first, I think, the first public school in New York. Um, there are certain features to be seen in other parts that we could show you, but I'm not that, I don't think that's my, my purpose here. I mean, if anyone have questions about? Well, were the British troops stationed here? During the Revolutionary War they were, mm -hmm. yes. And the benches you're sitting on are replacements for the ones that they, they were in part of it. Mm -hmm. okay. Is something in flavor with microphone spice? Uh, you explain what the way it's supposed to be Yes, um, that, that's a sort of a, a, uh, an acronym for remembering our testimonies. And they all derive from the belief that there is something of God in everyone. Uh, simplicity. Um, yeah, yeah, I was trying to think what the P was. Peace. <laughs> um, we don't kill because there's something of God in the other person. Integrity and community and uh, character. Thank you. 
who went to places like Kenya and built up um, program meetings in those places so that's what they're used to. But they also worship together with the other program meetings and the kids um, have programs together. My last follow-up I apologize. Did, did, did you do a tradition of the Trinity or Thank <laughs> you.